All right, what's up, guys? And of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarander. And today we're gonna do um, Kaiso Blue Nuzlo again. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. As you can see, it's kind of shifty. Uh, it's really, really dark um, outside. So the cat or my camera is pretty much shit because of that. But basically now we're gonna do um, Nuzlocke, yeah. And we had Nuzlocke before, uh, things did not go our way. Hell, I'll lose so badly, I only make like one part, so we're gonna do a part... Um, part 2, basically, of this. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. And... Um, we're actually gonna change the rule a bit, because I really wanna complete this. And the only way for me of really doing so is, well, <laughs> actually to make sure I don't lose and uh, soften the Nuzlocke rules a little bit. So we're gonna have, like I said before, or stated before, also the rival, of course, is Xenon. Um, so the, the rules are that I can only revive one Pokemon after one Doom battle, so I can't revive them. I uh, can't do that on Journey. If a Pokemon dies, on the journey, uh, it's gonna stay dead. And for the gym battles, because the gym battles I had started so badly, uh, I really just have to, like, I, I can only lose two gym battles twice. Like, I can lose one time, that's fine. Second time is a game over. And the Pokemon who dies in gym battles is not to be considered deaths. Basically, I have a chance of uh, getting my shit together after that. <laughs> so I don't have to stall too much. So, anyway, our rival name is Sinon. And uh, a few people have been asking me if I can name the Pokemon after followers and stuff like that. I I did think about it, I did. But it came down to that. We're not, like, I want... <laughs> I want stupid names, like, I, I really, really do. And um, while I do want to name a few things after, like, if I get a Pokemon that I can actually uh, relate to, to another follower that I have, I will name it that. But um, for this, like... My first Pokemon must be named Dumbass. I can't, I can't deny that fact. Uh, the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur is gonna be named Dumbass. But actually, no, we're gonna make some serious name. Like, um, what's a good name for a full-fledged Bulbasaur? Hmm. Let's think about this. Flora tool, yes, Flora tool. <laughs> Not the most near name, guess. Flora, no. Wait, Floor Jax. Hey, he's gonna name me Floor Jax. There we go. That will just do. Floor Jax. That's awesome. And also, obviously, the first match we're gonna have here is against my rival Sidon. And uh, you can't beat him, it's impossible, it's just, it can't be done. Um, Alright, Florjax. At least 20 in HP. Oh, he has Toxic! Let's do that! Uh, oh, he's gonna start with the Thunder Wave. He only has Thunder Wave and Pound. Uh, but in theory, I shouldn't be able to win. Ugh. Fully paralyzed first turn. Pound us, 5. Yeah, fair by the way. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're gonna lost because I don't do enough damage on it to him. Look at this. It's over. Just I just have to accept that. All right, so now we're gonna fetch the parcel uh, for Professor Oak. And uh, I must say, I'm really glad about Turbo Button here. Uh, Turbo Button helps a lot because Pokemon is actually a really slow game. Never really thought about how slow that game was until I actually played this game again. And also thank you everybody who has been watching the first episode and came back for this. I wouldn't have been, like, I wanted to do a lot of uploads of this, uh, because I did obviously lose. Uh, but the reason I didn't do another upload after that was because I really wanted to see the respawn you guys. And you all have been so... Oh, come on! Right, it doesn't, I don't have any Pokeballs left, so it doesn't... Doesn't count! You hear me? Does it count? Uh, <laughs> I react like a ten-year-old, and uh, what I want to say is I I wanted to do more uploads, but 
I just want to see your spawn on it, and you guys really, really were supportive. So, um, with that in mind, I actually decided to do this one more time. You know, we're gonna try to actually complete this. So that's why I have the nerfing rules because I will lose. Like I will lose a lot. So I might as well try to do the best of it. Hmm. Let's see. So now we can at least start catching Pokémon. Um, just gonna buy some balls. Oh, I wonder how that dialogue goes. Hey, you got balls? Uh, but anyway, also just to mention that, like, poison kill is not gonna be counted for if it is on the field. Uh, so our first Pokémon is gonna be... Pidgey. Yay. Pidgey! Oh, don't have freaking wing attack. Tackle does. Not too much. Sad attack, alright. Oh, and quick attack. Ooh, miss. Oh, ha ha ha. Oh, no. Oh, no, alright. Uh, try to catch it anyway. Oh, we did it! We did it! Alright, for people who knows what I named my Pidgeot, uh, there is no way of denying this fact, we're gonna name him Yeros. Um, always name these guys Yeros for some reason. And also if I catch uh, Pikachu, I'm gonna call it Mr. Pimple. Like, that is a go-to name to get with Mamber Pig on Primeape. I mean, those are just givens, aren't they? So anyway, we did at least catch a Pidgey, so that's actually kinda nice. Uh, now, Pidgey is not the most powerful Pokemon in the world. Actually, it's kind of bad in this game. So we're gonna hope that it, you know it survives the onslaught. We're gonna try to level him up a bit. Now it's a Sandshrew. Oh, it actually had Wing Attack. Oh, oh! It has Slash. And Slash always crits. Wow! All right. Away with you. Oh, Florex level up. So I'm probably never... I'm not gonna show you all the... like, power level I'm doing, but the first part is definitely one of those episodes we're just gonna power level, because we, that's really all you need if you wanna survive this game. Really? Can't beat even a Rattata? That's... That's my boy! That's my boy! Uh, Alright! <laughs> Come on, I mean, I'll need him at least at level 5. To be able to actually do something. Let's hope for the best. Ekens. Oh. That guy is scary though, isn't he? Oh, he's gonna glare on me. There we go. Jero's level 4. Not a lot of increases, but, you know, level 4. Deal with it. We're gonna at least before 7 level 5. Oh, Nidoran. Oh, Toxic, son of a... Yeah. More or less Duck. Oh, Double Kick. Oh, close enough. There we go. Jero's level 5. Awesome. Things are gonna turn around now. I think... I don't believe that PJ can do anything uh, considering given circumstance in the next gym. And actually, I think even in the second and third. Uh, let's see, our third Pokemon we're gonna catch is an Eevee! Hey, hey! That's awesome, actually. Eevee's greed. Uh, we can work with that. Do I think Eevee has only quick attack as an early move? Yeah, precisely. Let's see. And Sand. Oh, God. Really? Way, really. Alright, let's try this one more time. Just gonna keep going, alright. Oh, 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 Pidgey, Pidgey, relax. Alright, it definitely won't be catched so easily. Alright, um, I think it's time to switch out. Let's see, right button, there we go. So we don't kill this thing in, in vain. Hmm. It's better than catch a squirrel though, we'd rather have that. There we go. Eevee! We can get a before if we feel like that. Gonna name Eevee! 
What do I name an Eevee? I'm gonna name it Varia. Actually, related to Varia for some reason, I do know that she likes the darker types, which we will not find here. That is Espeon and Umbreon. Alright, so, um, solid team right now. Maybe not. Um, I could go up here and catch my third one. Or fifth, not third one. You know what? I have a mouth. I should just keep it shut. Oh, come on! Somebody! No? Uh, my fourth Pokemon, was what I was trying to say. Um, like the. I read that there was like a lot of encounters. I wonder. Don't feel like it is. Moonstone. Alright. Um, there will be no Moonstone on Eevee though. It's too bad. That would be one hell of an evolution early on. Page be up. Right, so we're gonna buy some uh, potions of course. Alright, now this has gotta work. Like, I know there are the encounters here. Seriously. This, that, this can't be right. <laughs> oh, no encounters. But I did meet a freaking... <laughs> there we go, Cubone! Oh! Now that's good, now that's good! I had headbutt, oof. Ew. Um... Alright, he's gonna wreck me up here. Let's see... That, that, that can't be good. Uh, bone... Oh! 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 Okay. Okay. I see you. Wow. This could end badly. Um Oh no 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 there you no <laughs> I did state though uh, in previous video we're not gonna set it right off the bat. Pokemon are trying to catch is not gonna count as kills, but still rough. Alright, that is actually something we needed. Missed it, finally. Momentum there we go! Cubone! Now we can beat everything! Lonely. Huh, the lonely Pokemon. I don't exactly what to call you. Foreign. There we go. Freaking Cubone, guys. That's awesome. Cubone is a really good Pokemon. Like, in general, and definitely in Generation 1. Um, probably, like, outmatched by Sandslash, just because Sandslash is the earlier ground type. But I think, besides that, I think Cubone is really, really good. Um, I'm debating if I should keep Pidgeot or, like, just sack it. Um, we're gonna try to level up a bit because I think now we're like four Pokemons in is a lot of Pokemons. So, um, and I think I have a very, very easy time to level up um, Cubone for a reason there. Oh, yeah, I'm um, poisoned. Like I said, poison kill doesn't matter, but still, no, that's awful. Actually, just keep level up. Yay! Lead Seed! Oh, that's awesome! Wow, we took a wine with Oh, another... Another! Alright. Should probably switch 
Um, yeah, there we go. There we go, badly poisoned. Of course you are. Um, Alright, so last Pokemon figure we can train is uh, Geros. Alright. Inte Villa. So, talking Swedish, of course. <laughs> Just isn't meant to be. Alright. So right, I'm giving like give or take a bit, bit loose. Basically, <laughs> after this power level, I'm gonna play a bit serious. Um, you can miss Bone Club like that's that's seriously a big deal. Um, <laughs> I had no idea you could do that. I thought it was a hundred percent accurate move. Yeah, but seriously? <laughs> Alright, like I said, after it's like power leveling, or you know, I'm gonna at least go to level 10 with all these. Uh, I'm gonna count the kills, but right now I'm just feeling like I just wanna get through it. And I wanna have some levels up. It just looks so weird when you just stress play. But basically, I just wanna, I wanna come to the part I was in before. I basically, I came so, I didn't came out. What I was not talking about. But I did come somewhat far, and I lost to probably like the worst way you could lose, and that is actually not being prepared for gym. And so far, all the Pokemon I got are not Pokemon that I would consider seriously freaking misses. There we go. Um. I did lose to um, the gym there was, which obviously was a big deal, because that gym just, I had no chance. First Pokemon I had, I haven't seen all of it, uh, I did hear that he had Kibitos too, but it has like, it started with a Golem level 15. You know, you have nothing for that, that early in the game. Uh, you basically have to power level yourself to get a, a lot of good momentum. That, that's the only way I can see somebody beating that. To be completely honest here, I don't see how... A person could beat that, uh, <laughs> at least not first try. Um, all right, that will not work. But I was generally impressed though because uh, when I lost like that, it was like a revelation. Like this, this game is not pulling any punches. Like you have to be at the top of your game. If you're not even close, then you know you gotta get so badly screwed over. Alright, Jairus is picking up some momentum here. Um, that's great. The reason I'm going for level 10 is because of uh, my rival battle that is up ahead. Gives me enough money and, you know, I get some. Get some goody, really. And I need all the goody I can get. Come on, Floor Jacks. Actually, I think we're doing very badly now, aren't we? Yes, yes, we do. Um, really? There we go. My bad. Alright, so at least my opponent, uh, or my adversary monster has not a Charmander, what am I saying? He has an Eevee, and uh, uh, the Mew. The Mew. Not a Mew, the Mew. So at least we can get a level 5, like I said, or 10. 10 will do fine. Guess we need to get to very up a bit. Changing quick attacks, awesome. No, we can do double kicks. Let's get out of here. Really? I'm gonna get a post poisoned. Really hot in here. It actually, wow! Right, actually, <laughs> actually a drink, I guess. Two little beer. I mean, bears when you play games like this. Actually, I think I'm gonna grab my fan. Like a blowing fan, not a oh, oh yeah, that that sounded just for right. 
Come on, very are. Oh no 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 oh, no 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 stop! Gloriax, do it! Fight! I'll finish this myself. Let's see. Come on, foreign! Nobody can stop it. Not even your mom. Not even your mom. That did not make any sense. What any sense whatsoever? Wow. I think foreign is packing up speed here. Oh, there is the poison. All right, so back to Kieros, I guess. It isn't like a lot strong. It just it. PG just is. Like it's one of those. Pokemon you just pick up, you kind of feel like, oh, I should probably not have done that. Yeah. Alright, level 10. Run away. Yeah, Kyrus painted. So, we're gonna catch a Pokemon, and we actually can get a part of 6 before the gym if I don't screw up. Oh, Charmander! I actually want a Charmander. That would be awesome. I heard like the nightmares of um, people meeting Pokemon at level 15 out of nowhere, like much like uh, the um, uh, the rare encounters was on um, uh, Ruby and Sapphire on uh, the 3DS. Like it took like you can get a um, Slacker for example very on early on in the first forest. I think at level uh, 15 or something like that, like extremely high. Um, there are encounters like that in this game too. Which is actually kind of terrifying the more I think of it. Burn? Seriously? Ah, oh, they are not nice to me. Because this is hard, like the best place to level up. It's basically it's a really recovery room for me right now. But I like that I hit super effectively with the Bone Club on Bulbasaur, because that means that I'm actually weak to rock moves. Oh, Torn again, fall to poison. He is not feeling it well at all. And that's my phone. Alright, we're gonna level up Lord Jax a little bit. And after this, we're actually gonna take on Xenon. I think. Uh, no, actually, we'll, we'll go through uh, the forest too, and then we'll end the episode. Oh, that is not what I wanted to go for. Right, I guess that works. Level 12, alright, that should be more than plenty. Like, one thing worth noticing is that he is extremely hard. Uh, the first battle against Xenon. Or rival. No, gotta call him Xenon no matter what. Here it is. Moment of truth. First, I'm gonna start with the Eevee at level 9. Uh, we should not have a real issue with that. Yeah, no problem. We're on level 12. Now oh, that's dangerous. Next is the Mew. Wanna change Pokemon? Yes, I do, but I wanna stay true to rules. Um, I actually need to fix that. There's a T wave, that's awful. We're gonna go Toxic on this thing. And then we're gonna go Leech Seed on it. That should help plenty. Uh, there's a pound, there's a toxic, and yeah, they should stack up basically. So there, that combo is very, very mean. Uh, you can exploit that if you want to. Uh, definitely in the first game, lead seed and um, what about lead seed and toxic did stack up in the first game, which um, made it a very, very powerful strategy. If you didn't want, didn't want to use a Mew, that is, or a Mewtwo, that is. Mewtwo was like broken this game. Um, I do know that Giovanni has that as a team leader. Uh, I did hear about that uh, while I was reading, which was incredible. Because uh, that means he's actually really nasty. Um, Alright, still haven't met a Pokemon here. Come on, this has gotta happen. 
There we go. Oh, Sandshrew! Finally! Gonna headbutt you. Headbutt you. I don't think I have a lot. No, I don't have a lot of balls. <laughs> yes, I don't have a lot of balls. Um, right, can take a crit there ish. And he couldn't take a quickie! Haha! <laughs> Alright, so we lost Sandshrew. Actually, we did catch Cube on here. I'm an idiot. I lie. A lot. Um, what we're gonna do now is getting some. God, this is gonna get like. There are so many sexual references that can be made. I gotta grab some balls at the mart. I am obviously a very, very funny person to make sexual references out of buying balls. Obviously, I am a person of good taste. <laughs> Actually, we can forward, forward to the Safari Zone. If we make it so far, then that's gonna be very, very interesting. Um, so, right, this maze, yes, maze, as maze, as uh, the popcorn is made of. Oh! Venonat! Awesome! Now, this is a Pokemon we wanna catch. This is awesome! Who knew Venonat was there? Obviously, the creator of the game, I guess. Um, Venonat has Psybeam, I guess. Don't have Psybeam. Oh. It didn't do too much, though. Uh, gonna show him a quickie. And he's gonna toxic. Ah, let's all out. They're all packing talk. Oh, and I can't. Oh, god damn. Appear to be cord. Stun spool. Come on, come on, Venonat. Yes! Yes! We need Venonat! Venonat is awesome. One of my favorite folks. Venomat, not so much. Um, didn't I give Venonat a nickname? Oh, That was bad. That was really bad. Oh, Percy. Or Meow. Um, final thing I have to do now is... Uh, Recover myself. Um, I didn't do that first time, anyways. We cannot. Oh, it's so sick. It's so slow. Tries to pull this off every time. Like something happens, you're just gonna go back like this. It's more like, yeah, fucked up again. What's up? Um, thinking about recatching Venonat just to be able to nickname it. Uh, we'll see if I can pull that off. Uh, bear with me on this. I don't know how common Venonat is. Hopefully it actually is, so I don't have to... Oh, damn. That was really bad of me, I'm sorry. Bellsprout, alright. Uh, gonna kill that one. Actually gonna, like... Well, I do encourage Vera or Foreign to be very, very strong. I actually need some kind of change in pace here. Um, Kakuna, alright. Good way to level up. Come on, it's him. Ah, oh, Mr. S Mr. Pimple. Come on, Venonat. Don't disappoint me now. There we go. That's awesome. Seriously. There we go. So now we can nickname it. I'm sorry for that. Um, gonna call you. Yeah, it's blue. Cyanite. Not the most creative one. Alright. Now I'm gonna get back and recover. No, I'm actually gonna try to get out, like, as far as possible, really. No, I'm paralyzed. No way. I am not pulling it up. Um, wow, you guys must really be tired of this journey. Back to the Poké Center! Where my life is so good in the Poké Center is all my happenings in the world on the Poké Center. 
I got a center for you in the pocket center. The pocket center. Uh, gonna deposit you. I should really just release you. But who the fuck cares? Pokemon's gonna die anyway. And I'm singing really, really badly, aren't I? Alright, so Vena obviously needs to get some levels up. But I also know the Pokemon's here are not fairly strong. Um, they're actually not strong per se. But I can't really do too many risks. I think bad I didn't get a Kakuna. Beetle would be like awesome to have here too. Um, oh, Venonat against Venonat. That's. Oh, that's a duel! That's a duel! Probably pull not, can't pull that off once more. Um, gotta hope for a Kakuna. Or, you know, I can just keep going. It actually did attack me, didn't it? Oddish! Hey! Awesome! Did not kill the Oddish. Oh, come on! Alright, that was my joyride. Freaking stun spore. Alright, so back to Veria. Like I said, this is a maze which is very, very, very annoying. Um, I, or I actually like they created a maze out of this because just remember one was running just away from it. Or you could just like... Or I obviously can't speak. What I'm trying to say is that I remember it being very easy to get through this uh, first time around. So it's actually kind of fun to to play this again uh, with new eyes. And yeah, I'm missing something. Yeah, does that work? All right, bug catcher, bug catcher. There we go. Second like one, Caterpie. Still haven't changed. Thing I should have changed. Let's do that. We wanna change things. And. <laughs> I'm just all right. We're gonna save five hours in. I wonder. Can we do option? Like, can we pull that off? That's awesome. And it's staying. Right, that's wrong way. I have been on that. Prepare thyself. Yeah, Kakuna, you had nothing on me. But Venonat does have something on me, so we're gonna switch out to Jeros. I expect you to do well and not get paralyzed. Thank you. And Paras, poor guy. So Vera's gonna die to poison here. Uh, so gonna just switch her out so it, she does die out of that and not anything else. Don't want her to become the dead. Yeah, fast forward, Chris. Seems like you have a lot of feeling for when you should turn when you do that. Yes, yes I do. Anybody wonder what five hours came from? Probably pressing turn button standing completely still every time. Alright, Mr. Pipple! Oh no, I went for sad attack. Supposed to hit him with... Oh my god. Just getting worse. Alright, so back to foreign, I guess. Why haven't I buy like any paralyzed heal? Like I should be prepared for things. Alright. You have a Metapod, and I have the club. Alright, he that was actually resisted. Did not know that probably is like not necessarily staying against bug types in general with the ground types. Tend to grasp moves after all. I'm so skilled this game. Alright, now for our next Pokemon to be caught. And of course, gotta try to get out of this maze too. Uh, and then it's actually the gym battle. And I'm gonna do some power level before that, so I'm actually gonna skip a bit uh, on the next episode because of that. Oh, Sandshrew! We meet again! Poor bastard, now you're mine. I gotta nick you, nickname you, Kajir. But I rather stick with uh, Cubone. Actually, now I do believe that Bulbasaur is a major player for the gym. 
because I have yet to catch a Pokemon that actually would have been helpful against the gym leader, to be honest. Uh, I guess, to some extent, Cubone could be good, but we also seen that the Golem can probably one and kill it. So, we're gonna end this episode here, and when I get back, uh, I'm gonna have a level up a bit, and basically we're gonna try to get on Brock. So I wanna thank you everybody for watching, it's been very fun to have you guys here. It actually has. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.